Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great diesel Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Finally was able to get my hands on another pre-owned tag axle motorhome, and of course, it's the brand that so many people love, including myself. It is a Tiffin motorhome. And today, guys, we're going to review an absolutely beautiful and stunning 2008 Tiffin Phaeton. This is the 42 QRH. It is a tag axle, 42 and a half foot long, big boy, uh, class A diesel. You know, guys, a lot of Tiffin fans out there. These are great, very well built motor homes. You don't see them come on the market as often as say the Fleetwoods, even the Monaco's and the Holiday Ramblers because they just simply, they concentrated, uh, Tiffin in Red Bay, Alabama concentrates more on quality than quantity I mean, they only limit themselves to six motorhomes a day so they can control the quality of everything that leaves their factory and it really shows guys and i know this one may be out of price range of a lot of my viewers hey i get it guys you know i don't carry a lot of these over hundred thousand dollar motorhomes because they take a little longer to sell but they do sell and there is a uh, customer base for these motorhomes so keep in mind just because it may be out of your personal price range doesn't mean that it's not out of somebody else's so um and guys if you look at what this thing costs new and the fact that i'm selling it way under nada retail now is a this is a heck of a deal guys Forty-six thousand miles 42 and a half feet long beautiful multi-stage full body paint it's got a fiberglass one piece molded roof built on a spartan chassis got the 8.3 liter isc cummins diesel 360 horsepower 1050 pound feet of torque this thing can sit there and cruise at 75 80 miles an hour if you want to drive that fast all day long this thing's just great ride and drive to it the spartan chassis is what you all usually only find in your higher end coaches has independent front suspension and just an incredible ride and drive that's really pretty much done matched by just about everything else out there and you can see guys this thing has been stored inside look at the outside the shine the finish got an outside tv michelin tires all the way around got a 10 kw on and diesel generator the reason why it's got a 10 kw because it has one, two, three ducted roof airs on the roof. Got a 10,000 pound tow capacity. All four slide outs have awning toppers, power awning, power door awning. This thing is a one beautiful motorhome, guys. Alloy wheels. One piece windshield, looks great. Like I said, if you've been looking at Tiffin Phaetons and been seeing them for $160,000, $170,000 with more miles than this one, then this is one you definitely want to look at because I've got it for one thirty nine nine. Ten kw on and diesel generator and a slide out tray. Uh, Wow, look at the chrome i mean not even bubbling you know how those chrome mirrors do when they get several years old none of that this thing's been stored inside let's look inside this beautiful coach power steps work great everything's original guys they've kept this thing so nice they haven't had to change the carpets or anything guys and got beautiful tile floor and not a single cracked one that i can find This thing is a, a beauty, guys. 46,000 miles, only has 300 hours on the generator. Look at these beautiful leather front seats. Dash air is nice and cold. Um, Sony backup camera. This has got the three camera systems. So you've got the side cameras. I didn't mean to get them on camera. As well as the backup camera six speed Allison adaptive transmission it's got the full air ride air brakes look at the visibility through this windshield guys wow 
power shades for privacy. Uh, of course, flat screen TV up top, seven foot tall interior ceiling height. Both these front seats swivel and the passenger side is a recliner, which is nice because when you're parked somewhere, you swivel that front seat around and you've got an extra place to sit that you can stretch out basically like a recliner. And these are very comfortable flex. These are that flex steel soft leather. These are probably one of the more expensive captain's chairs you can buy. And of course, Tiffin's got their embroidery crew on top of it, making sure they've got their decal on the chairs. And of course, you've got the dual sofa floor plan. Both of them are sleepers. Great conversation area. Like I said, all the tile floor, there's not a crack in it. And with 46,000 miles, which is low miles, by the way, right there tells me it's a, it's, a, it's a very soft riding chassis. So you don't have, if you've seen a bunch of cracked tiles and cracked Corian countertops, then I'd be a little worried. But look at this thing, guys. Beautiful high gloss Corian countertops, Corian backsplash, microwave convection oven, stove top, which doesn't look like it's hardly been used. Beautiful hardwood cabinetry. Look at the facade around the slide out. I believe they put a six layer roof on these things and it's got a padded headliner and no sagging anywhere. This thing has no bad odors, no smoke, no pet odors, no kind of mildew odors. Got a four door refrigerator that you can tell has not been a full timers refrigerator because all the racks are nice and white and no scrapes and stuff like that for people getting stuff in and out all the time like you see in one that's been lived in and already getting cold ice maker panasonic surround sound system guys msrp on this thing of course keep in mind this is back in um 2000 and uh, eight prices you know now they're more but back then msrp on this thing or nada was hang on let me uh, pull it back up here because the freight liner i mean because you had these in two different chassis the freight liner and the spartan was definitely the more expensive of the two in fact i think it was like a twenty thousand dollar option uh, NADA right here, guys. Um, get past all the commercials, ads. Is three nineteen nine. Of course, I know you didn't pay that for it back new back then, but three nineteen nine was MSRP. Now in twenty twenty one, you're lucky if you get ten percent marked off of MSRP. But back then, it was probably purchased new for right around two seventy five or so. But here's the thing, guys. At 275 I've got it for half price, almost half price, and no fees. So by the time you added the fees on 275 you figure you'd have about 10 or 12 grand in fees. The new dealers charge that I don't. I'm saving you half price with 46,000 miles and still in immaculate condition. This will do everything a 2021 will do for a lot less money. And guys, that was prices back then. Now, this thing's an extra forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 brand new. You know, it's going to be closer to the 400 mark. Man, this bedroom and bathroom is gigantous. Big shower stand, uh, glass in shower, skylight. Always like to look at the shower, see if they're bleached yellow. And this one, look at that, guys. Bright white. This thing, obviously, from the outside, has been stored in, under cover. But uh, you can see from the shower that there's no bleaching yellow. See, these... With these skylights, especially the clear ones like that, the UV rays from the sun will bleach these surround walls a bright yellow. And when you see one that's been bleached yellow, that's a that's a pretty much a surefire indication that's been stored outside when not being used. This one, nice and white, so that tells me right there it has been stored inside. Matching Corian vanity top here. I love the attention to detail. Um. Now, one option it doesn't have is a washer and dryer, but it does have room for a stack unit. Now, that's something that actually, guys, and I've said this before where people look at me funny, but 
I would rather buy one, even if I, I'm not a big fan of washers and dryers, but if I was, I would rather buy one without a washer and dryer because I know that it hasn't been a lived in unit. Because mo mostly the only people that use washers and dryers are the ones that live in them. A lot of people like to have them, but most of them never use them. They take them out. But the fact that this one doesn't have one tells me in the condition of the fridge and the outside, the condition of that tells me this has not been a full timers unit. And nothing wrong with the full timers unit, but something you want to consider when you're looking at one that's been lived in. On average, every year you live in a motor home, you're putting eight years worth of recreational wear and tear on it for every year that you live in it. So in other words, guys, you, you buy a motor home that's been lived in for two years, it's going to have 16 years worth of regular wear and tear that one that was just used recreationally instead of a full timer is going to have. So not a big fan of live-in units because of that. First of all, if this was a live-in unit, this carpet would have been changed. It wouldn't be nowhere near this nice. Um, upholstery probably have a lot of wear and tear on it. Um, cabinets, stuff like that, going to have a lot of wear and tear, refrigerator racks, stuff like that that noticeable because they were being used every day. This one, guys, you can tell it's just been somebody's motorhome. They've been using it for weekend trips and, uh, you know, uh, other trips, like week or two week long trips, not been lived in, not been on the road full time. And you can tell it too, guys. Um, beautiful coach. Probably one of the nicest 08 Tiffins on the market today in a Phaeton. And it's all original, that's what I like about it. Queen Island bed. And I love the woodwork. And this is cool, guys. You know, most class A's, when I do a video, or I shoot pictures, I always have to shoot the bed at an angle because there's never enough space between the foot of the bed and the wall for me to get a good shot of the bed from the very bottom of the bed. But look at this one, guys. And I'm not on a wide angle. I'm on just linear view, which is as close to natural view of a motor home as you can be. I can set this thing on wide angle and get the whole bedroom in one shot, but I'm not going to do that. I want you to see it as I see it, as close as I see it with my own eyes through this camera. That's why I do the linear uh, linear view on my videos on my GoPro and the narrow view when I take photos with it on the photo mode. So anyway, guys, beautiful RV. And again, guys, I know this price range is not for everybody. Even if it's out of your price range, it's still nice to look. Um, this unit's $139.9. That includes our world famous four page inspection process. And guys, please keep in mind, we are on an extreme delay on our checkout process. So please expect a 30 day plus wait to get it gone through. Or, you, you know, we will give you a significant discount to buy this uh, Tiffin Phaeton as is. Generator fires right up, refrigerator's cold, air's cold. Guys, I mean, you can come do your own inspection on it. Everything I've touched on this thing works, even the dash air is cold. So I don't think we're going to spend a lot of money on this thing doing the checkout, but we just have to get it to where it gets to its place in line. And like I said, please expect a 30 to 45 day delay picking this thing up if you take the full inspection. I do encourage you to strongly consider the as is. In fact, that Monaco signature I had, that was the last tag axle I had. Um, and it was, uh, of course, it had 100,000 plus miles on it, but people bought it, bought it as is. They came up here and, and just, you know, they found one or two little things that didn't work and they saved enough money. It was well worth their while. They just paid for it, took it home with them. And guys, uh, nothing wrong with that. But, you know, I'm not saying you have to do that, but I am encouraging you to consider it. Come up and look at it. We'll have it plugged into power out here on the front. So you can turn everything on. I'll probably leave the airs on and the fridge on. So uh, anybody wants to come up and look at it, that stuff's already up to temperature. And you can play with the rest and go from there and decide which way you want to go. But 139.9 does include a uh, full inspection, includes a 90 day easy care, nationwide limited warranty, includes a full orientation that's done after it's been through service and cleanup and and i'm when you're welcome to buy it that way if you understand it takes a little while for it to go through service right now since i am like all the other businesses right now i got the worst labor shortage we've had in 53 years of doing business 
we can't keep uh you know everybody's living off that unemployment and i'm hoping it gets better next month but uh unfortunately it doesn't help that it coincides with the busiest rv season we've ever had guys we're doing almost double the business we did uh before the pandemic hit for this month i mean it is absolutely crazy the amount of rvs we're selling and um like i said either way you go guys you're going to get a nice coach well worth the price and if it's something you think you're interested in we do have some great long-term financing available if you need it got some good rates with for excellent credit uh, of course with approved credit only if you're interested in financing 706-965-7929 i still recommend checking with your bank or credit union to see what kind of uh, programs they offer and I, that should be with anything you buy guys that way you've got a base of comparison and it's funny because most rv dealerships make on something like this, it'd probably make $15,000 on the financing uh, by marking the interest rate up. But guys, I want you to check with your own bank or credit union. I want everybody to have a basic comparison because we do not mark interest rates up. So we're going to save you a ton of money, not only on the price, but on the financing as well because other dealers are going to overcharge you by thousands and well over $10,000 or more in financing. We're not going to do that, guys. You, the Whatever rates you get approved for is what you pay. And guys, this thing is nice. It's clean. I already got people at the door trying to get in. That's why I locked it. I love shooting videos on Saturday, guys. It gets crazy. But anyway, um, thank y'all for watching. If you've got questions about this coach, because I'm sure I missed a few things, feel free to call. And one of my salespeople will be glad to fill in the blanks. I've got a, uh, a factory sales brochure on the uh, website, parkwayrvcenter.com, and it'll have a lot of the technical details. I also have um, pictures, finance applications, trade-in, appraisal forms, and more to get that process started. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description below so you can see my current Class A's. But yeah, guys, this is nice. It's clean. Um, you couldn't ask a 2008 to be any nicer than this one right here because they just they just don't come any nicer for a 13-year-old motor home. But it, you got to look at it, guys. It's half price of a new one back then now it's uh, way less than half price of a 2021 model and it'll do everything a 2021 will do for a fraction of the cost so guys it's uh it's just one of those motor homes that for those of you looking it takes somebody looking for a motor home like this to buy this is not a motor home the average rv shopper is going to buy you know they're looking 75 80 grand and under and i do have a few selections in a diesel in that price range but uh this is for those of you who want to spend a little bit more money and uh this is what you get guys thank y'all for watching make sure to smash me a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel feel free to comment share on social media feel free to um uh, tell your friends about it more interaction you give my channel my videos the more youtube shares it with other interested uh youtubers and the more it helps support my channel guys but thank y'all again for watching check out this beautiful 2008 phaeton 42 qrh while it lasts with a spartan chassis 46,000 miles 300 hours on the 10kw onan diesel generator beautiful four slide uh toes ten thousand pounds i mean i can't talk i cannot stress to you enough how nice this thing is for a 2008 model used motorhome thank y'all again for watching look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia